Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. After opening a camera raw file for processing in the photo editor in Photoshop Elements, it opens within the camera raw dialog box. This dialog box contains the tools and settings used to import and process the camera raw data. At the top of the dialog box is the title bar, which shows the version of camera raw installed. Below that is a bar that shows the camera raw image file name and camera used to take the photo. At the right end of this bar are the Convert and Save Image, Open Preferences dialog, and Toggle Full Screen Mode buttons. You can click the Convert and Save Image button to open the Save Options dialog box, which you can use to save a copy of the camera raw image as a DNG file with the settings you specify. This will be discussed in a separate lesson. However, note that you can hold down the Alt key on your keyboard and then click the Convert and Save Image button to save and convert a copy of the image but bypass the Save Options dialog box if desired. Clicking the Open Preferences dialog button opens the Camera Raw Preferences dialog box which is also discussed in a separate lesson. You can click the Cancel button in this dialog box to close it if needed. Finally, clicking the Toggle Full Screen Mode button toggles the Camera Raw dialog box between a full screen and smaller version of the dialog box. At the far right side of the dialog box is the toolbar of the Camera Raw dialog box, which contains buttons that let you edit and correct the image while processing it. The buttons are from top to bottom. Edit, Crop and Rotate, Red Eye Removal, More Image Settings, and at the bottom, the Zoom Tool and the Hand Tool. At the right side of the dialog box are tabbed panels for the Edit, Crop and Rotate, or Red Eye Removal Tool, depending on which tool is selected. In the upper right corner is the current image's histogram showing the tonal range of the image at its current settings. As you make editing adjustments in the tabs in the edit panel when using the edit settings, the data in the histogram automatically updates. In the upper left and upper right corners of the histogram are two buttons you can click to toggle clipping warnings on and off in the preview image to the left. When enabled, clipping warnings appear as shaded red or blue areas in the preview image. These areas indicate where clipping of the highlights or shadows in the image will occur according to the current settings. The left button is the shadow clipping warning, and the right button is the highlight clipping warning. Above and below the histogram is the RGB and image information. You can move your pointer over the preview image to see the corresponding RGB information at the top of the histogram for whichever point in the image preview over which your pointer hovers. Below the histogram is the basic image information. When the Edit tool is selected in the toolbar, then three collapsible and expandable tabs appear at the right side of the dialog box in the Edit panel. You can click these tabs to show or hide the tabs associated settings and sliders. The tabs from top to bottom are named Basic, Detail, and Calibration. Below the preview image at the left side of the dialog box in the lower left corner is the Fit in View button, the Zoom to Specified Level button, and the Select Zoom Level dropdown. To fit the image in the preview window, Click the Fit and View button. Alternatively, to fit the preview image in the window, double click the Zoom tool in the toolbar at the right side of the Camera Raw dialog box. To set the magnification level to use when you click the preview image with the Zoom tool, select a choice from the Select Zoom Level drop down. Alternatively, to set the magnification by clicking and dragging when the Zoom tool is selected, hold down the Control key on your keyboard, and then click and drag over the area in the preview image to magnify. 
the zoom tool is the default tool in Camera Raw when the edit button is selected in the toolbar. To zoom when it is selected, hold your mouse pointer over the preview image and click to zoom in to the area at which you click. To zoom out to fit the image in the preview area again, click again. To zoom in or out when the zoom tool is not selected, directly click the Fit in View or Zoom to Specified Level button. Directly below the preview image is a 5 star scale. You can click or click and drag in this scale to set a star rating for the current photo. To toggle the photo as being marked for deletion, click the Toggle Mark for Deletion button to the right of the stars, which looks like a trash can icon. Further to the right in this same bar is the Cycles Between Before After Views button. You can click this button to cycle the preview of the camera raw image between the five before after views to choose the way changes you make to the camera raw file appear in the preview area. Alternatively, click and hold down the button to show a pop-up menu of these view choices instead. Then click the name of the before after view to apply in the menu that appears. If you select one of the before after views and then change the image, you can then click the adjacent swap before slash after settings button to swap the settings between the two photo versions or click the copy current settings to before button to copy the changes to the before image. You can click the Toggle to Default slash Current Settings button to toggle between applying the current or default settings to the after version of the photo. To open a web page about using the Camera Raw dialog box, click the Help button at the left end of the bar at the bottom of the dialog box. To the right of that, you can use the Bit Depth Settings dropdown to choose the desired bit depth to use for the Camera Raw image file. To apply any process settings changes to the selected Camera Raw image and close this dialog box without opening the image in the photo editor, click the Done button in the lower right corner. Alternatively, to cancel your changes and close this dialog box, click the Cancel button. Alternatively, to reset this dialog box if needed, hold down the Alt key on your keyboard and then click the Reset button that replaces the Cancel button. To both apply your changes by updating the image's metadata and open the image in the photo editor, click the Open button. Alternatively, to open the selected image in the photo editor without updating the image's metadata, Hold down the Alt key on your keyboard, and then click the Open Copy button that replaces the Open button. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.